waste elimination model, it's a third operation system. They got <coughs> something called as a, a waste elimination model. They said seven ways. You try to minimize the seven ways, that particular idea, which has come. We are already, this point is also made. Business process re-engineering. What is business process re-engineering? Uh, the explanation is, whenever a new technology comes, whenever a new technology comes, when you are incorporating that new technology, there is some creativity possible. By using certain creativity, you can get a much more cost reduction. That is the re-engineering. And then I, there are a number of things which you are hearing, and I would like to call them as the, the branded solutions. SME, single unit exchange of dice, right? It is actually a PSD method study, but it has become on its own so popular that you have given a name to it and trying to separately do it. Same way, a lean system, right? We are calling something called as a lean production system. Then, part of quality maintenance, the discussion you have had sometime before, right? Where you are involving the actual operators in such a routine maintenance activities and the benefits you are getting over. So, the quality costing. Once again, same thing, that optimization of cost, but you are given the particular thing. What is the quality cost in the same? Quality cost divided into appraisal cost, actually, initially preventive cost by design. Then there is inspection, appraisal cost, and then there is cost of defense, right? By investing more in the prevention, you will be able to reduce cost in the defense. Right? So once again, there is an optimization possible, which is given as a, a quality cost frame. Right? So I have shown you what is industrial engineering. I have shown you a set of techniques under human effort engineering and under the system efficiency. I right? will just stop here and move into what is supply chain industry. Now, the supply chain management suddenly became very, very popular subject. As Professor Mohanty told, when we were students, the supply chain management was not. Right? Now, the supply chain management is a very, very popular subject, along with operations management. So probably engineers, in our come to NITI, engineers have two things which are popular specialization. One is operations management, one is supply chain management. Right? Now, what is supply chain? That's what Professor Monty also talked about. What people are trying to say is, right from the customer gives an order to your company, right? I want this particular item. Right from that stage, till the stage you are coming to the supply side and you are taking raw materials. Raw materials are what? Minerals. You are taking a, a iron mineral, hematite, whatever that particular thing, putting to a steel plant, making it into steel, then making it into some steel bar or something like that. From that you bring to machine shop, make components and create the item and give it to him. So this entire thing, people are today calling it as a, a, a supply chain. Right? Therefore, actually customer to the supply materials in that are mine. Entire operations. All that I want to uh, submit in this particular case is supply chain employs people. Supply chain is going to be run by human people. So the human effort engineering automatically comes into that particular picture. Right? So there is human effort engineering. So whatever we said on human effort engineering will come in supply chain. Right? There is going to be motion studies. There will be some motion economy devices. Right? There is what measurement going to be there. There is going to be fatigue and comfort studies. Basically where in supply chain we see fatigue and comfort is handling the material. Right? You have to pack it. Unpack it, put it in the uh, trucks, put it in the trains, right? The entire thing, put it in the storeroom, right? All that activities involved in the transportation and the warehousing activity, there are people who are working. So you are going to see the, the ergonomics of that, you do Java evaluation, you do the wage incentives for that. Same list we have shown, it comes into that particular list as a summary. Sir, right? yeah. what is motion study? As I said, motion study is. A worker should use, when he is working, both his hands and both his legs. Mm. Right? Can you see any jobs where a, a worker is using both his hands and legs simultaneously? You can see there are simple examples. A tailor. A tailor is sewing machine. He is using his both hands. He is using his legs. Driver of a car. He is using his legs. He is using his hands. Right? So, simple examples are there. The idea is, that any job is there, 
can you convert that job into where a worker simultaneously uses both his hands and both his hands? We have some simple examples. But can you convert many more jobs into it? Right? So that there is a more output. That is the motion study. Right? But once again, we get into this sort of the thing. The efficiency principles will come. Then the supply chain processes. Now, supply chain processes, all of them may not be manual processes. Some of them can be office processes. Now, that's what morning somebody talked about. Office methods are also studied by industry. Right? So, the, the method studies that we are talking of supply chain activities, some of them can be office activities, which are done by the method study. What is the value engineering? One example is warehouse. Right? You have done to design a warehouse, it can be value engineered. Right? And its cost can be reduced. Right? It is ceiling here now. But it is a warehouse, it is a design, cost can be reduced. Right? Then, Indian economics. It comes in question automatically. If you are doing a forklift for a warehouse, you can do an Indian economic analysis. Is it profitable to buy? Right? From the company or not? Right? Then, the same ideas will come. Manual to optimization, optimization strategy as supply chain, often we say, layout efficiency. Once again, the store example is there, right? So many racks are there in the store. How you are going to keep your materials so that there is efficiency here, right? When a worker is going to pick up the materials, he must walk as distance. Right? The time should be reduced. The best regulation, then business was re-engineering, right? Once again, you see the lean supply chain already is there. Lean warehouse already is there. So we said it's a branding. Is it? A branding sort of a solution. Lean supply chain, lean warehouse. Right? So that completes my presentation. Right? Then we can, now we can discuss. What exactly we presented, what sort of things are possible. Some of you are studying industry engineering, right? <laughs> As an elective. Right? So, anything you want to say on this? Does it clarify anything what is industry engineering? Or no, no, something more should be there if you know not included some techniques in this? Thank you.